Hi, my name is Ashlinis Kabusi, I'm an economist and I serve as project manager at Fundación Libertad, a free market think tank based in Rosario, Argentina. This year we applied for the competitive funds Liberals for Free Trade, organized by Relial and supported by the NAMO Foundation with an original project that won an honorific mention. As most people know, this year the FIFA World Cup took place in Russia. Footballistically, France defeated its opponents, leaving behind Croatia, England, Belgium and 28 other countries, including Argentina. But who would have won the World Cup if the competition was for the most open economy? This was what we tried to investigate with our own methodology based on data from four international indexes. Economic Freedom by the Heritage Foundation, the Trading Across Borders Indicator, part of the Doing Business Report by the World Bank, Global Enabling Trade by the World Economic Forum, and the Amount of Trade Barriers of the Global Trade Alert Report. The study compared the degree of free trade that exists in the countries that participated in the 2018 World Cup in Russia and produced a global ranking. Our findings? The four countries out of the 32 that participated in the World Cup that promote international trade better and exhibit less restrictions for trading are Sweden, Denmark, Iceland and Switzerland. On the contrary, the countries with the greatest obstacles to trade are Egypt, Argentina, Iran and Brazil. The average per capita income of the first four is $65,000, while that of the second group is $8,000 and that is eight times smaller. Our objective with this research and the subsequent campaign in social media was to highlight how free trade and global integration have raised incomes across the world while dramatically cutting poverty and global inequality. We had excellent feedback and first-rate journalists have mentioned our work in newspapers and media outlets. So we truly believe it is important that Relial keeps supporting and encouraging these competitive funds since it is a great way to incentive organizations like ours to be creative with our strategies and our campaigns. In addition, having a specific and a different theme each year allows organizations to focus their efforts on particular topics, taking advantage of the synergy and the work of others. Our greatest challenge ahead as a liberal think tank is to improve our storytelling to reach bigger and broader audiences especially through social media campaigns backed up with strong academic investigations and with public policy proposals. There's a lot to be done to achieve this and we truly believe Rulial is doing a great job on the matter, advancing freedom and democracy in the world by organizing these friendly and highly impactful competitions, very creative. So thank you Rulial and Nauma Foundation for supporting the project this year.